Hey everybody, uh, here we are once again, thank God, at uh, Emmerich Paints. And I can hear myself talk, I love when that happens. Anyway, uh, so it's been kind of a tough month for the Arts District in downtown Los Angeles. We've had a couple of uh, really good friends of ours end up in the hospital. Um, the newest one and uh, is a very old and loved member of the downtown LA arts community. That would be uh, Richard Godfrey. Richard Godfrey um, had an accident while installing a piece of art, one of his pieces of art, which is ironic and awesome because it would have sucked if it was somebody else's. And, uh, but he is in the hospital, he's at St. Mary's, and his family and friends would love it if you want to send well-wishing, uh, notes of well-wishing and any positive things you can do. And I had the card and I put it underneath my ass and here it is. Um, that would be the phone number, sorry. That threw me off talking about it. Uh, he's a great guy. I don't know if, if any of you guys have seen his artwork, but it's absolutely fantastic. So it's going to be Bedlam Art. Bedlam Magazine. It is bedlammagazine.com. That is B-E-D-L-A-M-M-A. Gee, I can't spell magazine. I can't spell. We all laugh. I can't spell. Bedlammagazine.com. But please do get in touch. Send something out. He is a wonderful, wonderful, amazing friend of ours and an incredible artist. And uh, we, our heart goes out to him and his wife and his little doggies and everything like that. So there you go. It's already started on a sad note. But on a more positive note, uh, Jim Marquez, who you all know as the best and craziest alcoholic in downtown Los Angeles, um, completely out of his mind, has sex with women even I wouldn't have sex with before I was married. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Actually, I was at a party where that happened. That's another story. And I found out there were prostitutes later. I was like, you had sex with one of them? I was like, yeah. She, I, was, I, I said, dude, she asked me for 40 bucks. Sorry. Um, anyway, he has a new book that came out. <laughs> this is his new book. And yes, he does really have sex with prostitutes. <laughs> And I don't, because I'm married. Not that I ever other, honey, that you know of. It's called Citizen Me, Suckling the Urban Teat, which I never understood. Is it tits or teats? Teats are on boars. Tits are on women, right? Maybe teats is more multiple of tits. No, then boars have more tits than women do. But they say teats for boars and tits for women. I'm completely confused. Anyway, it's L.A. Stories by Jim Marquez. And uh, he is a freaking rock star. It has nothing to do with the fact that he has an interview with me in here. And he says motherfucker like every two sentences. Sorry, Mom. And uh, it's absolutely fucking fantastic. I didn't get where he was selling on, but I think you can find it if you Google Jim Marquez. Is, is, look, is watching, so he should Is he? Is he no, watching? Colin. Well, tell the fucker. Oh, oh, and now this is the other number I almost gave you when I was talking about uh, Richard. Uh, this is the number, the new number, the official number. And don't you love an official number? Because that's why you can't call me on my fucking cell phone and drive me crazy at 4 o'clock in the morning. You have an official number now, and that would be 213-489-7665. Even with the worst handwriting I've ever seen besides Jonathan Gerald's, I was able to read that. It's downtown artist space, 213-489-7665. Six five, so I'm done with all that crap now. I threw the book down on the ground. Oh, I love the book. I'm taking you to my guest of the evening, who is David Holland. Look at that! Not only a great guest, not only a <laughs> wonderful, handsome man, but a good friend of mine and a fabulous artist. David, how are you doing? It's man? good to see you. It's good to Thank see you. you too. Thank you. Nice Thank you for tie. the invitation. Is that yeah. a full Windsor? Absolutely. Wow! It looks like a full Windsor. Round twice. Yeah. That yeah. Mine is a full Windsor, but yours looks better. I hate you. Uh, well, I got so an make sure the camera's on me. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we are, and if you've already noticed, and you should have, there are pieces of artwork behind me. They're sculptures, and I think it's the first time yeah. I've ever, ever, ever in my entire <laughs> life reviewed a sculptor. Uh, David Holland is not only a fantastic sculptor, 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 sculptor. I always want to say sculpture. 
That's but your sculpture, sculpture sculptors be... make sculpture. Okay. Yes. Yes. He's actually a human being. Thank you. Yes. Um, so uh, this is his work, and it's some unbelievable. It's some of his work. Now, this is some of the newer work. You've been doing this for a while. Um, when did you actually first move to downtown Los Angeles, and when did you first get into this? I can call it a body of work, because it seems to be this body of work. Well, this particular body of work is the Cable and Cube series, working with, a, with, with stainless steel cable and these, these cubes that allow an XYZ construction method. So the cubes allow you to <coughs> attach the cables together. Right. So, I so can it build, helps create it into a 3D format. Three-dimensional form. I can right. create forms rather quickly by creating a grid, essentially. Right, with the cubes and, and the... Right, wow. and so then, and then it's always how to treat or whatever it is, but it's basically about the structure. Well, of the can we pull that one piece you have over there up and look at it? Sure. This because is what I'm currently in process of making. Well, well, this is pretty much what they all start looking like, correct? This is <coughs> the cable un, un messed with, and these are the cubes that he runs it through. So when he starts his sculpture, it's basically this format. It's very simple, it seems to be, but it's not, because you think of all of oh. them. Oh, that's quite complex. Yes, it's, I mean it's. I mean it's interesting here is that each one of these holes going through this cube is a ninety degree angle, and right. yet the cables is flexible allows me to form it into a into a, a, a three dimensional. Uh, what do you call it? It's a decahedron. Right. So there's just a What's lot a decahedron? of decahedron because I love that word. And I completely lost. <laughs> deca has four. Deca is four. Like and hedron is, uh, I don't know, sides. So hedron? <laughs> it's one of the platonic solids. It's perfect. Platonic solids. So right. this is a curved decahedron, which is actually kind of spherical geometry. And okay. There's all that wonderful geeky math stuff which attached to awesome. it. So basically, this is the base. This when is the base. When your it. sculpture yeah. starts, it starts oh. off looking like this. It's got a nice, <clears throat> simple base. And what you do is, now, what's going on here, I don't know if you can see a close up of any one of these here. Let's just do these. It's above my head. I'll make it easy. What goes on here, this is the cable and you've unloosened the cable. Sure. You've actually split the cable open and just rotated it to... What you to do? You do this, basically. Here, so yeah, wait, wait till he shows it to you. There it is. Yeah, start rotating it around. So, so you, you take just open this it up. form and you... And I basically open up all the cable. Right, right. So I end up with a beautiful basic solid form in here. And then it becomes and a little more here. ethereal but as you're doing this. And it also hurts like a motherfucker because it, oh. Well, I have uh, one that's further along that I brought. Well, yes, this is the Would evil like one. Show and that of one? course he puts it on my side. Yes. <laughs> this is the one that will bleeding. bite you if you're not paying attention. And if you ever don't like somebody, give this to them as a Christmas present in silk. And when they open it up, their, their, their little fingers will be bloody. This is what happens when you completely expose the wires, correct? Well, in, this particular piece, this is actually uh, a cube. I'm working And I'm this. standing back here because yes. my eyeballs are way too close. I know, yeah. it's a very threatening I know. piece. I, I just, I'm threatened. Well, in the, in the cable cutting process, you, you, you slice it through with kind of a, a, a slicing motion. What happens is the end of each one of these wires turns, a into, a, sharp. turns into a perfect little blade, a little yeah. chisel point. Yeah. You know, so so not this, only is your artwork, <laughs> artwork beautiful, it's dangerous. And there's got to be a thrill in doing that. There has to be. Well, there is. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to get past the danger thing because it's just really? an easy thing to so, go for. Well, then, that, that segues into talking about that piece. We're not to do, not going to well, do that yet because I love. Well, let that me just segue. let me finish what yeah, I was talking please. here. Is if, in here is that this is again a cube. If you can see it, it's got uh, four six sides on right. it. Right. Uh, uh, it's got eight cubes, six sides on it. Uh, and I've been working with all of these ways of distorting it and twisting them around. I'm so basically, this is what we cubes. were just looking at with the cable. You've unstrung the cable and right. you've brought it out like a flower opening up, basically. Basically, yeah. And you can actually see we do have a finished one of the cable series. Okay. Which is the little one right behind you here. Oh. Um, this I can just grab well, this it. This is beautiful, and this is where I wanted to go into. Let me just show you this yeah. piece here. Now, then, what happens is, is we have a way. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, by the way. Let's, let's hold that so, for the camera, if you don't mind. This one here? I, th I, think, okay. I think if you ever remove the top of my head, this is what my brain looks like. <laughs>